Okay, so we have downloaded Zotero and we have set it up. So now we're ready to import some of the citations that we're going to use in our dmin test folder. So I'm here at the library homepage and first we're going to look for books. So I'm going to go down to this discovery window and look at the drop down menu and I'm going to select books. Okay, so let's say we're looking for information on liberation theology. Okay, so I type that in and I'm going to click search. Okay, so I've got a lot of results there. And so these books could be either print or they could be electronic. And you'll see like this number two, this one says available at Swilly and it's got a call number. So that's a physical copy. This next one says available online. So that's an ebook. So if you'll notice up here, we have a icon that's a folder. Now this is from Zotero. So if I look through this list of 10 and I decide I want to get uh, this one and this one and this one put into my Zotero folder, I'm going to select those and say OK. And it's telling me it's adding those to DMIN test. So it's saving to our folder. So they should be in Zotero now. OK, so that's how you can do books. So now let's look at how we can import a journal article. So I'm going to go to databases and click on the letter A because I know I want to look at the ATLA religion database. So I scroll down and here it is. Okay, so I'm just going to put in liberation theology. So the same principle applies. I have a folder up here. And if I click on a particular title, uh, the folder changes to this icon for a, um, I don't know, it's like a notebook, piece of notebook paper. So that will import that one article. It's still saving. Okay. And then if I go back to my result list, I can also look at the folder and say I'd like these two also and click OK. Okay, so now let's open up our um, Zotero and here we can see the items that we did import from the library catalog and from one of our databases.